We begin with the latest from the carnage in Paris that has left the world in shock. An intensive manhunt is underway for the perpetrators of the terror attack that left 12 people dead at the Paris office of the French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. For details, we connect live to our Kim Minji at the news center. Minji, French authorities have identified the shooters, and I hear one of them is a teenager, and he surrendered to the police. That's right, Daniel. AFP reports that the youngest of the three suspects, an 18-year-old identified as Hamid Murad, has turned himself in to police. This is as authorities carry out large police operations to locate the remaining two. Police have released photos of the suspects, still at large, brothers Saeed and Sharif Kouachi, both of whom are in their 30s. Police have issued arrest warrants for them. Both are considered to be armed and dangerous. Media reports say Sharif was a militant sentenced to three years in prison on terror charges back in 2008 for helping to funnel jihadist fighters to Iraq. Uh, President Francois Hollande has denounced the shootings as a terror attack and set Thursday as a day of mourning. They left their mark on generations and generations of French through their influence through their insolence, through their rare independence. Here, I want to say to them, we will continue to defend it, this message of freedom in their name. And this in France, a country where it's not easy to attain firearms. Uh, now, the French government has stepped up security across the nation in the wake of the attack. Let's go over the details of the shooting itself on Wednesday, Minji. Yeah, sure. It took place just before noon on Wednesday when heavily armed gunmen stormed an editorial meeting at the Paris office of Charlie Hebdo and opened fire. The attack seemed very organized, the shooters reportedly calling the victim's name before executing them. And then just minutes later, the gunmen were seen calmly leaving the building to get into a waiting black car, then abandoning it and hijacking a second one. All together, 12 are dead, and that includes the editor as well as prominent cartoonists and two police officers. But the magazine is no stranger to courting controversy. Its most recent tweet on Twitter mocked the uh, leader of the Islamic State, and the office had been under tight security, especially after its offices were firebombed in 2011. Um, that came after it released a cover featuring a caricature of the Prophet Muhammad, which is considered blasphemy. Well, Minji, people around the world are showing their solidarity to France in their time of need. Yeah, that's right. People in Paris held a silent vigil and lit candles at a makeshift shrine close to the offices of Charlie Hebdo and other locations across the nation. World leaders were also quick to condemn the attack. Take a listen. This horrific attack is meant to divide. We must not fall into that trap. This is a moment for solidarity around the world. We must stand strong for freedom of expression and tolerance and stand against the forces of division and hate. Uh, the most important thing I want to say is uh, that uh, our thoughts and prayers are with the families of those uh, who've been lost in France uh, and with the people of Paris and the people of France. Uh, those who uh, carry out senseless attacks against innocent civilians, um, ultimately they'll be forgotten. Uh, and we will stand with the people of France uh, through this very, very difficult time. Protests and vigils are also being held across Europe and elsewhere in the world, showing their support for Paris at this very difficult time. But the world is growing to be a very small place where we are all one, basically. Our hearts and the prayers go out to the victims of the tragedy. And thank you, Minji, for that report. She will bring us the details and the latest as it develops. Uh, we move on to different stories now.